Hey everybody, it's Emily here from Bright Yoga Space. I'm wondering how everyone is going. In Australia, we've just, uh, in the last few days, had an announcement that, you know, things are starting to go back to normal. Now, you know, in the next week or so, we can start going to cafes again and, then uh, by the 22nd of June, our ski season has been officially uh, allowed to open and uh, in-person yoga classes can start again, gyms can open. And if you have booked into our Ignite Your Intentions retreat, uh, mine and Kylie's retreat, which has been canceled twice for the bushfires and then again for COVID-19, uh, we actually now have a date. So look out for an email about that soon. We will be running that again in July. So we already have, um, it's already fully booked, but uh, we're super excited to hopefully uh, be able to offer that to everyone that has booked into that retreat uh, in July. Um, but I want to just address the elephant in the room, which is that many of us are kind of feeling like there are things that we have learned about ourselves or about the way we want to live during this time, this last couple of months that maybe we kind of want to hold on to. And, you know, my kids have just gone back to school today. I'm not complaining about that. I have a lot more time to spend in my garden, to study, to, uh, to work on offerings that I want to get out there. Um, and so I'm, you know, there are certain things that I'm really appreciating, but there's also a sense that I, I, I don't want to go back and we can't go back. You know, physics doesn't allow us to go back in time. Uh, we can only ever move forwards. So I'm really wanting to invite you to reflect on the time that you have had over the last couple of months and whether that has been particularly tough for you or whether it's been a really beautiful nourishing time or I'm gonna guess probably for a lot of you that there's a definitely a mix going on there. And so if you just joined me, I'm just um, addressing the, the changes that have happened over the last couple of months maybe in our lives and how we might want to go forwards because we can't go back uh, in, in the way that we live and uh, the way that we approach our practice, the way we approach our life. And so I'm not being specific about this. Um, this isn't just about yoga. This isn't just about your meditation practice. This is going to be something that is really specific to you. So what you might have learned about yourself or about how you've been living over the last couple of months that you might want to, you might want to address things differently. Uh, in a more permanent way. And so what I'd really like to do is to get you to reflect on, on two things um, and three parts to each of those two things. So to reflect on what you're grateful for right now. So three things that you're grateful for at the moment. And that's gonna be different for everyone. So hi, if you've just joined, I'm just uh, just asking everybody to to have to use this time as we start to move back into and not back but forwards into our lives, our more social lives, to reflect on the last couple of months, and first of all, to think of three things that you're really grateful for in your life at the moment, three things that you have might have shifted for you that there might be things that you haven't that you didn't really realize were important to you but three things that you're grateful for right now that you might like to have as a more permanent thing in your life as maybe you start to transition into some of the um the habits and the and the, the functions that you were used to before we went into isolation, into these restrictions. And conversely on that, to reflect on three things that you have really missed. So three things that you've really missed over this time. 
and, and not to be all negative about that, but to, so that you can really give those things some power and some attention and so that you can go forwards and savor those things. And so three things that you've missed as you've been in a period of more social isolation and restriction of what you can do and can't do. And, and to actually write those things down. So I'd really like to challenge you to take out a piece of paper and, or, you know, do this on a voice memo after you've watched this video and think of three things that you're grateful for right now before we get back into busy before we get back into everything that we used to be doing before before we kind of let ourselves just get carried off in that oh we're allowed to do all these things again just take a breath take a moment and really connect in with yourself and, and three things that you're grateful for three things that you've missed and that you really want to savor Hey Amber, nice to see you. Um, so I'm just finishing up, but um, you can catch this on replay. I'll pop it in my IGTV. But just to recap, I'd love to invite you to reflect in your journal and get really um, deep into what you value and write down three things that you are grateful for right now before you get caught up in going out into the world and becoming busy again three things that you're grateful for that you might want to include in your life in a bigger way and three things that you've missed during this time that you are really going to savor when you can do them again and just notice how this exercise uh, just gets things clear for you and you might have some real insight through doing this of things that you, I hear you, yes, thank you. And I, I've really found this to be super useful because I'm, it's not going back now. We can't go back. It's all about going forwards. And, and even though this has been a super challenging time for so many of us, uh, it's actually, if we can look at it as being an opportunity, I think then we have, you know, we've really uh, had a gift from this that we can that we can connect back with what's really important to us due to this kind of enforced break, and we can go forwards with perhaps a different way of doing things. And it actually comes back to a post I shared earlier this week, uh, where which is the theme of my class on Monday, which is about the transformation that happens. And it doesn't have to be this huge, but the transformation that happens when a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. And it really, you know, has to embrace that, it has to surrender some things. Um, I mean, in a caterpillar, it literally just surrenders its entire being. It turns into liquid in a cocoon we don't have to do that necessarily um, but we might have to surrender some things and we might emerge looking a little different and we almost need to be courageous with that and need to be vulnerable with that and use this as an opportunity and like I said before we get caught up because it's so easy to kind of go oh everyone's out again and oh, I'll just go back to doing what I was doing before but before we get caught up in that to work out what's true for you and it's going to be different to what's true for me or what's true for anybody else um, and go forwards on your path um, so I'm excited to hear about your journeys. So comment um, below whether you're watching this later or if you're watching live. Let me know what you think. Um, you might even want to pop in there a commitment uh, or your intention as you move forwards in this time. So stoked to see you and uh, I will hopefully catch up with you all soon. Much love. Thank you.